This video shows what to do if your HP printer does not pick up or feed paper from the input tray when you do have paper loaded. The paper attention light on the printer's control panel might be blinking. Sometimes the problem can be fixed by resetting the printer. First, make sure the printer is turned on. If it is off, press the power button to turn on the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds for this type of reset. Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front of the printer. If the printer does not turn on automatically, press the power button to turn on the printer. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press the Start Copy Black button and the Start Copy Color button at the same time. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Often the condition of the paper you are using can cause paper not to feed correctly. Remove the paper from the input tray. Check for obstructions inside the paper tray. Use a flashlight to view the mechanism inside the tray to make sure nothing is blocking the paper from engaging with the rollers. If any obstructions are found in the paper path, skip to the next step. Examine the condition of the paper you removed from the tray. Remove any damaged paper. Make sure there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets in the stack. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number is best for testing. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type, and then align the stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press the Start Copy Black button and the Start Copy Color button at the same time. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Foreign objects stuck inside the printer can cause paper feed problems. Remove the paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Remove the power cord from the printer. If present, remove the USB cable from the printer. Look inside the input tray and remove any foreign objects such as paper clips, pins, and other objects that might have fallen inside. Use a flashlight to illuminate the area. Using both hands, gently turn the printer on its back with the output tray facing upward. Make sure the scanner lid is secure while rotating. Use your fingers to move the pick mechanism located inside the input tray and remove any debris. Debris might fall out of the printer. Use a flashlight to ensure there are no foreign objects remaining inside the input tray. Failure to remove debris could result in more jams or could damage the printer. Once all debris is removed from the printer, return the printer to its original upright position. Make sure the scanner lid is secure while rotating. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. 
Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press the Start Copy Black button and the Start Copy Color button at the same time. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. The print rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, you will clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean lint-free cloth, clean cotton swabs, clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Remove the paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. Look down through the open input tray and find the gray paper pick rollers. You might need a flashlight to illuminate the area. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean cotton swab lightly moistened with water. Use a cloth to blot excess water from the swab. The swab should be damp, but not soaking wet. Wipe each roller and use your finger or the swab to turn each roller up as you finish cleaning a section of the roller. These rollers are difficult to reach, but they are the most important to clean. If these rollers inside the printer are not cleaned, this problem will continue because these are the rollers that feed the paper into the printer. Wait for the rollers to dry completely. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press the Start Copy Black button and the Start Copy Color button at the same time. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, attempt to print the original document again. If the issue is resolved, there is no need to continue troubleshooting. If the test page prints, but the original document does not, continue to the next solution. If the page does not print, try printing it again. Listen for the paper pick rollers. You should be able to hear them rotating. Then, try slowly pushing the paper farther into the printer until the rollers engage to pick up the paper. Only push one sheet of paper and do not push it in too quickly or too far, as this can cause paper jams. If the page does not print when slowly pushing the paper farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the rollers. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, go on to the next step. If the page prints when slowly pushing the paper farther in, try printing your original document again. The paper might not have been loaded far enough into the printer. If the issue is resolved, there is no need to continue troubleshooting. If the paper only feeds through the printer when you push it farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the paper pick rollers. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, go on to the next step. Next, you will make sure the paper settings in the print driver match the settings for the paper you are trying to use. The printer must be on for this step to work. On your computer, return to the document you were trying to print when the issue occurred. On your keyboard, press Ctrl and P to open the Printing Properties window. Click Printer Properties. When the Printer Properties box opens, click the Layout tab. Click Advanced. Select the Paper Size drop-down menu and then choose the appropriate paper size. Click OK. Click the Paper Quality tab. Select the Media drop-down menu and choose the appropriate paper type. Click OK, and then click Print to print the document. If the document prints successfully, 
the issue is resolved. If the document does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service.